you now it was after your seven days of prayer you had a strange dream you have never had you thought it's a sign that you are losing it's a sign of victory something is happening in the realm of the spirit all of a sudden you went to sleep and you saw a vision of your mother when she was young your father when he was young the spirit of god is trying to show you something follow him but that's when the spirit of slumber comes god keeps saying for one month wake up by two o'clock there's something i'm doing in your life after two weeks you don't wake up again you see how we cheat ourselves and you don't know that you are on the path of deliverance you reign you reign hello king you reign you reign you reign hello you you reign you reign you reign hello you I promise you if you listen to what I'm teaching you tonight many of you as soon as you go back you will see the dream you will have this night the devil hates what you are hearing because this is the age-long mystery that has kept people in your family educated but it's like they are not educated a pastor you are blessing people but you never rise yourself do you know why because your victory is tied to your altar not just your service your altar I created an altar that is independent of koinonia and I said no devil will come and destroy me no no watch this please come again the two weeks we are praying we are praying we are praying we are praying we are fasting something starts happening one day there will be a breaking point in the realm of the spirit if that prayer were two hours a day will come it will become a vigil not by not because you like it there will be you will break open a portal in the realm of the spirit and two hours prayer will become prayer till morning and your child will come and meet you and say daddy i saw a man in white and i saw the man doing something on your head spiritual activities are happening in the family all of a sudden you start seeing doors opening you love your wife like never before the devil told you the secret is to marry another one no sir you marry another one the altar is still the same there are pastors the altars that fight them and in first risk of their ministry something happens people start living they have raised so many people but have not been raised by themselves there are altars i've seen it fight people I've seen it fight people I know these altars fought me for years you go to sleep a strange woman appears to you and sleeps with you in the dream you get up and say sorry I don't know what is happening someone is about to marry you here comes a stranger again what is bringing the stranger have you ever asked you relocate to another house he still looks for you and comes Kabarota Sigada they are about to promote you in the office all of a sudden your physical document disappears physical document how many students seated here that's the mystery behind the results you are seeing the ugly results that you are seeing you love God and you are sincere but that's the mystery behind the demonic things you see on that board you are not that dull you write your exams and go back the altars continue writing things continue writing things I know what I'm saying listen to me you hear people coming here with four points they were not born that way they have tapped into a higher covenant you see them surprised by their own results they know it's not their efforts that's why people join certain ministries join certain men of God see people partner with certain anointings this is the mystery of partnership when you partner with an anointing you access the covenant the covenant not the promise the covenant
there are parents today the moment you are 50 years arthritis you get up one morning father cannot work mother cannot work their entire pension is spent on it it's not sickness it's a programming an altar is accurate with digital precision regardless of your foreknowledge it will work it will work I have seen it destroy families I have seen it destroy ministries that's why certain ministries remain small no matter how anointed they are an anointed man with fire on his head but he will not cross certain boundaries once they reach 200 something must happen a wrong news will spread around a scandal must come whether it's true or not have you not seen students their last and final exams they will go and the spirit will start moving them carry something to the exam hall they don't want to but it's an altar you are too weak to fight it you will promise that you will not take it and you take it as soon as you are sitting they just catch you and they said your entire six seven years cancelled brothers and sisters it's an altar there are families that as a family they are victims of abuse everybody mother father brothers all the daughters will eventually meet a man of god somewhere and all the man of god will do is to destroy them it will happen they are scattered in every place but their experiences are the same you will see them and like them but at the end of it you must leave them with pain they think is that the ministry is bad but the issue is the altar there are altars you give birth to men they must die they must die something must kill them no matter how healthy they are they must die brothers and sisters i have seen this evil it exists tonight we are going to pray are we together when it's time i'm not going to give you a prayer point when it's time to pray we are going to pray tonight you are going to erect many of you as you pray tonight you will see what will begin to happen to you i want us to lift up a fire in this place tonight and say lord this demon that molests me in my sleep i can't be pretending that it's not there again these animals that come to me in my sleep no i started a business well why is it that i start good things something evil must come lift your voice and pray Oh, 
Come on, pray, pray, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. And I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny i tear it down tonight lift your voice and pray i tear it down altars of delay altars of barrenness altars of failure yourselves to two find find a partner and hold a hand be serious please if the person by your side is not serious leave him alone while doing serious business tonight find a partner and hold a hand say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight I invoke the blood let the blood speak lift your voice and begin to pray every legal access every legal access every legal access I have given any altar of darkness even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered hallelujah hold the hands of someone else look for another partner hold the hands of someone else say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus altars of poverty altars of delay altars of failure I speak to you in the name of Jesus I tear you down release my destiny release my destiny 
altars of poverty, altars of delay, altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I curse you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Hallelujah. We're really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We're still praying, please. We're still praying. Shalapakaya. We're still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We're still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny because of where i'm coming from i prophesy tonight your hold is broken over my life lift your voice and pray altars associated with territories associated with territories i come against you by the god of heaven i come against you pray pray i come against you Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years, but it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders authorize the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries Pray, pray. Let your prayer be heartfelt. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen. I don't care how many. Call it. Listen. 
you are going to call them one by one and say i stand as an altar and i bring you out of this dungeon lift your voice and pray call them call them call them mention them by name call them i bring you out of this wasteful living call them hallelujah 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 say in the name of Jesus be serious say it again in the name of Jesus I speak to the east I speak to the west I speak to the north I speak to the south everywhere my favor is in the name of Jesus I command it to my life now lift your voice and pray you don't have to travel call it everywhere it is hallelujah I want you to pray listen I want you to pray and talk to God tell him Lord I'm part of this apostolic family the altar you have erected here must speak for me I want my life to show it from today lift your voice and pray pray with understanding and watch what happens to you pray with understanding pray with understanding understanding Lord I inform the altar that you have with your servant pray with understanding pray with understanding hallelujah many of you may not realize what is happening to you please I don't want you to idolize this teaching no it's not about religiosity it's about proper understanding and application so it's not just coming to lie down here no 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 the altar is a revelation we are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives listen because many of us here the only time you pray 
is when you are together with people satan started attacking you he gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life he will never attack it at once he can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray i receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my altar fresh grace to pray fresh grace to fast fresh grace to intercede fresh grace for warfare i command every dead prayer life around my life come back to life come back to life hallelujah hallelujah one last prayer point and i'll pray for you there are many of us the spirit of god started revealing things to you because you were meeting with him every day but something happened no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life no access to illumination you used to be you used to have projects that you and god are on you can literally say we are on a faith project but now there's nothing like that your life has become stale and barren some of you is when you started ministry this this so-called thing called ministry that's what destroyed you we are going to pray a prayer of restoration and the fire will fall upon you i like you to pray say in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say holy spirit i ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you're just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened pray restore that intimacy restore that sweet fellowship that i once had with you fellowship that nothing in this world could be compared hallelujah please lift your hands i tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies i pray for you now i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as i speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three i command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of god will come on people one two three I command those altars now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. 
lift your hands i'm challenging altars of failure listen just i'm praying for you don't pray just listen to me because i'm seeing people here failure it has nothing to do with academics it makes you fail in everything i stretch my hands may that fire anyone here who is a victim that altar is speaking i stand by the road of a higher priesthood and i judge those altars now 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 by fire i judge those altars now There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it you see a job they tell you it's yours quarter to reception everything changes i don't know who belongs to that category but in the name of jesus inside and outside following online anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment right now in the name of Jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus I command total deliverance help them help them please total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ put down your hands ladies keep your hands lifted I'll tell you why I'm praying for you there are many ladies let me tell you many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady who, a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege I'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause lungs around your body, those lungs, those barrenness, I cause it by the God of heaven. I cause it by the God of heaven. hallelujah i'm seeing 11 ladies the lord is opening my eyes listen now i'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of jesus 11 people ladies especially i'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands Lord I pray whoever came into this meeting whether online offline and belongs to that category in the name of Jesus as I'm praying now I command I'm praying now the fire will fall on certain people 11 in all I see Lord let it be right now I, I break that marriage I break that spiritual marriage 
I break that spiritual marriage, my God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married, but this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed. Sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is. Right now in Jesus name. I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus. Whether inside or outside. You are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know, but we're rounding up. Please just, just be patient with me. I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people. Yoruba people, there is there is something, a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people. You know how God acts as I'm speaking now. Everyone associated with that territory, I place the word of God now. In the name of Jesus, let that sword of deliverance, I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance. I command it now, inside and outside. In the name of Jesus, no escape. No escape for any power of darkness. Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, na 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 Every mark of disfavor. That is on anyone's life here you watch what happens to your life from this meeting anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation i command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's because God is doing something. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I say it again. I command that mysterious mark to be erased from your life right now. Anyone here who has any member of your family that has refused to give birth they have tried and tried and the devil would just not let them have a child either she will not take in completely or she would take in and then mysteriously lose the child or the man will not be able to get her pregnant i don't care what situation but please even if you are not the one standing for them i'm praying distance is no barrier i stretch my hands now and I decree by the altar of prayer 
we authorize angelic assistance to those people right now we authorize angelic assistance right now hear me it was an angel that came to assist mary to get pregnant he showed up and said i was sent your own is to just agree and she said be it unto me and she got pregnant i declare and declare that any manifestation and encounter that they need to go through to have their child i command it to happen now in the name of jesus let me pray finally for your finances i believe in god's people empowered there is no triumph when everything around your life is not working i want to speak because some of you are titers some of you are sowers some of you bless honor god's house but simply because of certain systems that manifestation can happen as laziness that manifestation can happen as disfavor everywhere in the name of jesus i decree and declare nobody here is too young to prosper don't listen to that nonsense nobody here i'm not talking of business i'm not talking of a job i'm talking of a system in the spirit where god will lift you in a way that will make you afraid i decree and declare now as i'm praying for you i'm also praying for families because there are families that need help as a matter of emergency i pray that the demon sitting on the financial destiny of anyone here sitting on the financial destiny of any family i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now in the name of jesus christ listen listen i've shared with you my encounter i've seen that spirit that they call mammon i've seen it i've shared it here some years ago when i was praying and all of a sudden my ceiling disappeared and all of a sudden i saw a giant creature like him as tall as a mango tree standing looking like um like 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 a dinosaur a sea creature with a tail and the tail was another living thing on its own it could detach from that creature and move and the eyes were as big as a human head two red fierce eyes and he was looking at me and he said so you think you can bring god's people into blessings and that was the end of the encounter that was it was that day i knew that wealth is spiritual it's not about what you do it's about what is backing you you can do everything to a pole. there must be a spirit assisting you i call for the ministry of the holy spirit over your finances and i command extraordinary results from today i command strange results from today i command strange favors from today i command strange results from today strange encounters with destiny help us in the name of jesus christ i want you to wave your hands to jesus the bible says to pray with thanksgiving tell him thank you thank you this is part of a fruitful prayer you don't round up a prayer with amen you round up a prayer with genuine thanksgiving lord i thank you i know it is done i receive it because you are faithful this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us it's our confidence hallelujah now keep your hands please look at me i want to encourage everyone as much as god grants you grace i want you to use this week make sure that no day passes without you creating time to blast in tongues at least an hour at least an hour no if you think you don't have the strength find somebody who god has graced at least an hour tuesdays you are sure you can come and our prayer department is there praying you don't have to be a part of the, the a member of the prayer department join them because it's a season where we are breaking things through breaking things through in the realm of the spirit every day take out time i would recommend night times for you because most people are working or are students you may not have the luxury of time to get up in the morning or afternoon 
but you can maximize nine times one hour out of 24 at least will not kill you i want you to cultivate that atmosphere carry that consciousness that the, my prayer is creating an altar and that i am an altar myself and refuse to allow the devil play games with your destiny in the name of jesus christ now keep standing everyone i want to make an altar call now very quickly there are people here probably you came here for the first time tonight please let me have attention inside and outside and there are people here who the devil has been playing around with your destiny for many years and when you came for this meeting tonight as the word of god was coming the lord was speaking to you that we need to start afresh again there are such people here right now i want to give you an opportunity to hand your life over to jesus or others who you were once a serious believer but something happened around your life very quickly we have just two minutes for this wherever you are inside or outside there must be somebody handing his life to jesus make your way right now i want to pray for you let's appreciate them as they come don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person somebody is coming clap for them inside outside if you're outside make your way in quickly god bless you god bless you young and old keep coming if you're outside please rush and come in rush and come in clear the way for them those coming from outside hurry up please hurry up quickly 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 it's not something that should take forever for you to think about you should know immediately young and old make your way to jesus the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run it to it and they are saved keep coming keep coming koinonia celebrate them let's encourage them as they come hallelujah i want to appreciate you for the boldness to come and make a declaration to jesus listen this is not just a poem you are reciting i want you to mean it from the depth of your heart because it will start a new dimension of living for you lift your right hand high to the heavens let the devil see it and say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word I believe in you I ask you to forgive my sins I ask you to cleanse me with your precious blood I believe you died for me I believe you rose again for me I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that from tonight I am a child of God I keep rising and I never go back again the power of sin the power of satan the power of the flesh is broken over my life forever in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted father i stretch my hands to these dear ones and i pray oh god that you seal this decision with the presence of your spirit let tonight be an encounter that will remain forever in their lives i declare their sins forgiven and oh god i decree and declare that from today they begin a fresh and a new walk with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I bring greeting to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, now that you have gone through the message, I would like to encourage you to keep on, keep on watching and keep on listening to the Word of God. Through the Word of God, life will always change. Your life will never remain the same through the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you to keep on with God and keep on praying until you see the result of God manifestation in your life. And God bless you. Also go through the, if you have not subscribed, please I will encourage you to subscribe for more and uh, so that you too can also preach it out. Every one of us is, one, is preaching the gospel in one way or the other. So by doing that, you are also preaching the gospel, reaching out to people. So you, you share, you, you make comment. God bless you.